the sun directly does the old heat up in me Hello everyone, this is Andra from Run With Music and today we've got Gary Matazur. Hi Gary. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you today? And I'm alright, I'm blessed, I'm feeling happy, good. That's good, that's good. Yeah. It's good to have you with us. Um, so we are here today to talk about your uh, latest album, Sushi Season. Yes. Can you tell me what's the story behind it? Uh, Sushi Season, that's my first compilation of work. You know. mm -hmm. um, and basically my name my stage name is African Sushi, you know, so I decided to name my first compiled body of work Sushi Season the first, you know, so that's basically the story to it. Right, and how did you come up with the name African Sushi in the first place? African Sushi, well I was given that name, you know, by you know, friends and that because of the way I used to you know, dress and that because so they really like the combination of the colours and that and that and they were like, yo, you know what, no, Sushi is like colourful in that. So they gave me that name and they were like, you know what, you could actually be like an African sushi. I was actually like, but that actually has a sort of sound to it that I like. Yeah. And then I used it and then people just like, ah, that's really nice and went with it. And now I'm the African sushi. Okay, okay. What's your favorite thing about sushi season? My favorite thing about sushi season, the success. It being my first body of work and the success that came with it. That's actually that's my most favorite thing about, about the whole project. But when it comes to like the music itself, the songs, what do you think like it's your favorite thing about the sound that you have on this album? About the sound that I have on the album? Mm. Is, the thing that I like about the song is, is, is that it's versatile. You know, like I don't have one sound, one genre, you know, I have different genres on it. You know, and that's what I really like about the song. So one person that doesn't listen to another thing, you find what they like. It's like a whole buffet, like a whole platter. You know, you just get in there and then if you're a vegetarian, you find what you can eat. If you're not, you find what you can eat. So, so you're a very versatile artist, you can yeah. say so. Okay. Well, all, um, all your fans love sushi as she season, right? Yes. Um, going through all the comments people leave you on platforms, I couldn't find one bad comment. No, thank so you. everyone is showing love and love really only. We appreciate that. Yeah. What do you think about that? Like how how does that uh, affect I, you? I can say it, it definitely motivates me. You know, um, you know when you when you put your work out there, and then people show you nothing but love only. You know, and then don't get me wrong when people show you the criticism, positive criticism. You know, it's also love. Again, but I'm really happy when the majority, you know, 95, 99% plus are showing love, you know, for what I'm doing. It means that I'm doing something right, and it means that I have to continue doing what I'm doing. Yeah. See, some of your fans have been suggesting you do a collab with Naughty O. Oh. oh. Yeah, everyone on YouTube is saying that. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you thinking about this? Yeah, that's, that's good. I mean, it's works. I'm ready to work, you know. He's, he's a good artist, you know, as well, in his genre. And you know, I'm also in my genre, and then I feel like mixing those two genres, you know, is so something spontaneous. Like yeah, I'd like it. Like mm -hmm. it. Okay. Uh, the song Go Low had people, and you're gonna love this, had people <laughs> saying that the US has got Chris Brown and Zimbabwe has got uh, Gary Mumble. Oh, for real? Yeah. With Go Low. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah that's exactly. Cool. How does that make you feel? No, I mean, with my, with my people in my country, like comparing me to someone that is. That has made it. I'm a representation of that person to them in their country. I mean, that's good. That means I'm not I'm not singing badly. That means my music doesn't sound bad. <laughs> yeah. That means I'm doing, you know, well and I really appreciate them I and I'm really happy, you know. Yeah. Some of the um, on some tracks you sing both in English and in Shona. How yeah. do you think that impacts on how the public receives you in the UK? Um, you know, I feel like people will always respect the person who knows where they're coming from, who always remembers where they're coming from. And I feel like with me, to me being here, it means I've been singing, including my language, you know, as part of the music and it's just taking me this far. That means it can take me beyond as well. So, you know, I feel like people will appreciate that and then they'll be part of the journey. They'll actually be willing and be happy to be part of the journey of a Gary Mapanza, the African sushi, who sings in English but can also mix. The versatility, you know, is the, you know, is the fun of it, so. And how do you feel the UK reacts to your music and yourself, in general, as an artist? Well, I feel like it's not far off from some of the music, you know, that's, that's out there. 
already. So I feel like they will, they will react to it in a positive way. They have been reacting to it in a positive way. You know, because it's, like I had said before, it's, some, it's already a genre that was there. Yeah. You know, and I fit into the genre, obviously with, with my own, you know, additions and that to my singles. And, you know, they really respect me jumping into the genre and, you know, for, um, producing good music and releasing good music. So I feel like it's, it's, it's all positive, you know. Mm -hmm. And good. if you were to collaborate with a UK artist, who would that be? Or, no, give me top three artists, because it's hard to choose just one person, isn't it? Yeah, I'd say... Yeah, because with the UK now, you know, you, you obviously know a lot on drill. So I wouldn't mind being spontaneous, you know, and you know, collaborating with drill artists that you know, obviously, you have to respect the biggest, you know, if not the biggest thing, you have, you have to respect those at the top, like the Stormzy's, the j -Hus. and then when it comes to like things like Afro, Pop, you know, and that, there's this girl that I know called Official Dako, which is actually really making really good, you know, Afro, Pop music, and that's really good. And I'm, I'm even name another one, like, uh, people like Simba and that, you know, you know they actually releasing and producing like really good music in the UK. So yeah, for drill, there's that. For Afro pop, there's that in the UK. How would you have to say to your fans in the UK and to the people who don't know you but they've just discovered you and enjoy your music? Um, I just want to say to those people that have just discovered me and they didn't know my music, I'm just really happy that. Really, I really appreciate because I know that there's more of them like that that are to come. You know, being an artist like being an onion. You know, every day it's like you know, a layer is being peeled off. So people discover you, new people discover you each and every day, and I'm really grateful. You know, and to my fans that already that have been there and are still there, you know, I just want to say that it's a journey. You know, the journey never ends. You know, so we just have to continue going. You know, the music stays forever. That's why I'm saying the journey never ends. I can be gone. You know, but the music lives on. So you know, let's ride, let's enjoy the music and the journey as long as we are on this earth. And I really appreciate the more music, more good music coming to them for me. So.